welcome back everybody to Sanity Lost and the podcast where we're going to find out what geek we are. What? Oh, um, do you guys know about that personality quiz that's going around now? No. Yeah, it's uh, it's by like some job resume place and it's like you t- it's like a, a quiz that takes less than five minutes and it's like to help you find out this is the kind of job you should go for or like what you in this thing. It's one of these personality things, but at the end, it tells you what kind of cake you are. <laughs> yeah, but and that like, has a five-minute uh, personality quiz sounds like the perfect thing to tell you exactly what kind of job you need. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sure and it's very comprehensive. Uh, knowing what type of cake I am helps me choose my job. That's Apparently. just how they classified them. This is how they classified it. <laughs> I think more people are just taking it because they're like not really looking at oh man i can be a job but it's like a stupid little personality mm-hmm. quiz of like this is what cake i am did you take it dave yep what, what kind of are cake you? are you uh what am i <laughs> i took it <laughs> are you a chocolate cake <laughs> no that would um, be very funny <laughs> i am a macaroon that's not a cake that's a cookie right it also says that 9% of people, yeah, there's like, and then they tell you, hey, your work besties are your strawberry cake and cupcake. And just coworkers are layer cake and tiramisu. I hate all of this. What? <laughs> I Mac- figured John would be the one that would hate this. <laughs> um, a macaron isn't a cake. That's why a I am the 9%. isn't really a cake either. But at least it's made out of a cake. Like at least hey, the base. Sure. I would agree yeah. that a cupcake, even though it has the name in it, isn't really a cake. And also, my brother, when he got married, had cupcakes instead of a wedding cake, and he's divorced now. <laughs> so take that as you will. <laughs> However, I will say uh, the recommended rules, which uh, everyone here playing wise knows, Josh. Uh, and me and him talked about this, and it was eerie because they're like, "Hey, recommended rules for, um, for macaroon, which is, uh, design, creative, media, creator, or artist." Oh. <laughs> and it's like, hold up a second. I had no clue what these things are. Well, they got you. Yeah, with a five-minute quiz. Okay, what is it called? Because now I have to go and take it at some point. I'll, I'll send life. it to you guys after the episode, and we can all find out everyone else's cake, because John is going to be a sour cake. I'm still... A sourdough still... sandwich. Apparently, I'm a layer cake, assuming I found the same one. Okay, you probably did. Hold up. I'll just send it now. Uh, copy link. Oh, no, I'm... It's not a cake. I'm sorry, Payne. We're just coworkers. That sounds yes, about that's right. the same one. <laughs> what cake are you? Yeah. That is quite the image. Yeah. They, uh... Ooh, yeah. Bane Lab. Oh, what is this? It's like a little RPG kind of thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so you go Welcome for anyone to who hasn't Welcome to Job this. Hunting Village. Exactly. <laughs> and now you got to do that, and you have like three quiz things. Not really quiz. It's just like, hey, here's love, the answers. I love it how feels... the first question is like, it's your first time at Job Hunting Village. How do you feel? And yeah. you only get two options. Yep. This yep. will yep. be an interesting experience. Right. Or I'm ready to upskill. <laughs> you're not allowed to hate this at all. <laughs> well, like the, the quiz well, just yeah, feels you like, you're, on it. <laughs> like you're just selecting options for starting an RPG sort of thing. It's not like a personality mm-hmm. quiz yeah. at all. Look yeah, who's partner but people friend. keep calling it a personality <laughs> quiz. Yeah. Or the village. So now while they're taking theirs, what job? What recommended roles are they? Uh, so the recommended roles you? is software engineering, architect, chef, or athlete. Which, apart from the athlete, is not that far off the mark. But it's still mm-hmm. kind of a weird. Like I don't see how it can anything makes sense and how they get there. We jump to these. Yeah, well, the company... These questions are dumb. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. Yes. Well, the company here, it, like, it's their whole thing is like making resumes for people. Like, I looked into it, and they're just like, all they do is help people make resumes. So it's like, I hope that they somehow with these silly questions and stuff, and it, it is quite dumb. But it's like, it is very <laughs> it, dumb. It's very much uh, all that. 
Like, uh... What, what I really like is this workaholism index that says 87%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, is that a rough mark? 60... <laughs> Mine's 65%. I know the... Sh uh, the cupcake is like a hundred and one percent. Oh Jesus! <laughs> and one of one of them, oh, what was what was Rick's? Because he did it wrong, and I called him out on it. He sent because we were talking about it on the stream last night. Where is it? I gotta scroll all the way up. The uh, interviewer asked, was, "Sorry." Oh, he was tiramisu, and he had a two hundred percent work workaholism index. And I'm like, dude, you couldn't even. <laughs> it's like you don't do work. <laughs> <laughs> And then he got a cupcake. But um, I, I think my other hmm? I am a roll cake. What is a roll cake? I th I think it's like a <laughs> hey, like a jelly dusty. roll. <laughs> uh, I think it's the one with like the cream rolled in. Yeah, the a, a jelly roll. Yeah. Oh, I never heard it called that. Okay, I am a layer cake. Ah. Wow. <laughs> You're copying so me. So <laughs> everyone in this call is just coworkers or or like everyone and John and I aren't not even like on the same thing. We're not even just coworkers or work besties. No. That's okay. So John's my work roll bestie. Cake, yeah, the roll cake is what your colleagues say. You are a roll cake with a heart as dense as good cream filling. While being <laughs> perfectionist and careful, you give everyone around you a sense of security. That's not you. That's me at What's work. What's your recommended roles? You're perfectionist? Uh, I don't know that I would, I would say perfectionist. Yeah, but I was like, going to say, I don't, I don't feel, I mean, the security piece definitely, yeah. but I don't get the sense that you care that, like, mm. like when I hear perfectionist, I hear someone who's like, like can't leave it alone if right. it's oh. not like perfect. Here's a therapist and psychoanalyzing you. the stupid cake quiz. I <laughs> hate these things so much. Then why'd you want to take it? My uh, because my strengths I want to know what cake I was. To detail. <laughs> See what uh what were your recommended roles, John? Uh, finance, bookkeeping, civil officials, and administration. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Johnny, you and I are work besties. Wow, I'm just hating. Well, yeah, layer and cake then and tiramisu. That, that tracks. Just coworkers, a cupcake and strawberry cake. Yeah. Hey, those are my work besties. <laughs> <laughs> just coworkers with a macaroon my and a tiramisu. My career lucky charm is a fish tank. Oh, my career lucky charm Mine is, is a tumbler. Mine too. To... Oh, that's right. Where this? And I mine. am a forty. Or oh, 30... you never said what you were. Saying. I'm a thirty-nine percent workaholism index, which is way too high. <laughs> what what was it? Thirty-nine percent. Oh, oh. <laughs> mine's sixty-five. <laughs> thirty-nine sounds much more like where I feel like I'm at. So I would so be I more curious. like sub twenties. I think. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So I'm curious because they also say this many people are like this amount, percent amount of people are this type. Like, yeah, mine says 26 percent are the layer cake. Oh. What's yours, John? How many people are you? Uh, what am I looking at? The percentage. In the top left hand corner uh, it says percentage. 22 percent. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm nine percent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the least amount. Knight, do you and I have exactly the same things because we're both layer cakes, or are they slightly different? I assume different? so. No, they're they're all the same. I've oh, okay. seen somebody else with a macaroon, and and it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. Yeah, it's just pigeonholing it's just, into like it's five just funny. Yeah. So since uh, everyone in this call secretly hates me, uh, just like <laughs> we're just life. not we're just not work besties, Dave. It's fine. Just just like yeah. I am. It is funny just seeing how it's like you work well in creative thing, and it's like none of these guys would have played this game unless I was like, "Hey, you want to do something fun and creative? <laughs> y'all, y'all have nightmares." <laughs> anyway, speaking about nightmares, um, <laughs> man, you guys. We said I edited the episode. I think Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then the end of that episode is like, well, have fun sitting with that for two weeks. It's been like three and a half now. <laughs> it's been uh, three yeah. weeks. Yeah. yeah. Because we got you know, sickness. Sick. Sickness hit our lives. Down with the sickness? Yeah. Oh, they were down from what it sounded like. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> I haven't been that sick in my adult life, I think, maybe ever. Yeah. 
You were getting I mean, the system I'm still redo. on an antibiotic, and it's what almost two weeks later. Yeah. <laughs> so three weeks later, we gotta we gotta pick up at the cliffhanger. Yeah. yeah so, the problem uh, is, I forgot everything. Now, so we're just gonna start <laughs> chapter seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dave, you've been building to this for weeks. I know you haven't forgotten Months. anything. Months. Yeah. Hey, Years. You think that highly of me. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. All I have is the cake bit. So I guess we'll start. <laughs> Works for me. Wow, the music got really low. Get back up there. I was like, why can't I hear the music? What? Because it was like on 12%. And he poops. So yeah. A name that means nothing to you guys. Uh, actually, they didn't even say introduce themselves. But um, yeah, pretty much... Man, I should have my notes open <laughs> because I forgot the name of the child. I'm too busy thinking about cakes. Oh, um, boy. Let's see. Boom, shakalaka, boom, shakalaka, boom. Jillian. Yes. Yes. So um, I don't remember exactly what um, Percy said, but um, you guys hear Jillian's like, Uncle Percy, I don't want to go back. And he's just like, come on, we, we have to go back. We, like, we, we can't stay out here much longer. Um, Adele, like, because I think the way it was in my head was that she was like, kind of like kneeling down talking or like, you know, squatted down talking to Jillian and Percy came up behind her. So she like turns around and like puts her hand out and she's like, hi. I'm Deli. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Uh, Jillian, we gotta go. I'm trying to do my best, John. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, I was gonna, I was interested to see how you were going to play him. I play Percy. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I think we're headed to the same place, so we'll just walk with you. Yeah, I don't think that's true, but sure, if you want to. And uh, they start just like, okay, well, let's go. And then, like, turns uh, to Caleb and like, waves and just like, okay, David? bye. To David? David, yeah. <laughs> You're stupid characters. <laughs> They're the same characters in stinking betrayal legacy. <laughs> the latest one was not. <laughs> Um, I don't remember. I, I don't remember what the name was of the latest one. Um, wait, wait. Do you really try to thought? Um, uh, David's going to just quietly wave back to this child, and I guess uh, sort of fall in with the group as we follow them. Um. I think, okay, so Dave, remind us, did we see, I can't, when we first saw Brother Billy, has anyone but um, August seen his eyes glow green, or was it just August in the bedroom? Um, if they glowed green in the bar, you guys didn't see okay like the or didn't take notice of it okay um so Deli like is following them but kind of like pulls back a little bit right like not like keeping pace exactly with Percy and Jillian and kind of like whispers over her shoulder to August and uh David as well though she doesn't know exactly where he is um and she's like, we might have a problem if people can see you. What do you mean? Um, I, it doesn't feel like most people seem to notice me, but we, I mean, it, this was a Hail Mary at best. So 
I mean, we, we kind of have to proceed for the moment like they can't and figure out what we're doing from there. I just want it on the record. I do not like this. And she like turns and like keeps following Percy. I don't think any of us like this, but. Hi, Paul. We do you hear the must. air talking? <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, that doesn't happen. <laughs> we do what we must. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess we're going to follow. Well, I guess actually, is uh, Percy headed? Like, we were headed to, like up the oh, yeah. path. They're, is he going that way too? Yeah. Okay, all right. So then we'll just like follow. Yeah. Or at least so, Ellie's following him. Yeah. So as we're well, walking, August calls out to Percy. And he's like, hey, we, I didn't catch your name. That's because I didn't tell you. Well, I'm August, and Deli already introduced herself, and this is like David. Month. No, no, you, no, you're not introducing me. I mean, he's seen Take it back. you. No. No, Jillian has, saw him. The child has seen the shimmer, not, as far as we know, Percy is not seen. Uh, not yeah, Percy. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, I forgot you were. Take it back. All right, then no, uh, I did he's not just say like, this is <laughs> <laughs> he just like, like this is my 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 special friend on my shoulder. <laughs> like, only I can say. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, I'm pretty sure you heard the child. I'm Percy. That's all you need to know. All right, are we done here? Uh, yeah. Um, where? Cool. Okay. What? <laughs> Well, what, what's uh, like? What's the schedule for today? Like, what's uh, what's going on? We just got here. We, we were kind of running a little late, and so just trying to catch up and, and get acclimated. You guys, look, I'm not. This isn't my job. I'm not here to play tour guide. I'm here to watch that one. As like you see, Jillian just like typical like 10 year old just like blah, da, da, like wandering off and just like he like grabs her by the top of the head and just like kind of no <laughs> uh, very tired looking he's like look all you gotta do is follow the group you just you'll go in there instructions will be there I don't know they don't tell him all they told him is to watch the child So we we just need to keep following the path here, and we'll we'll get where we need to go. Yeah, that's what everyone else seems to be doing. All right. Well, I I guess it's been nice talking to you. Sure, we'll go with that. Yeah. Uh, Deli calls out to Jelly, and she's like, "Hey, don't forget, we have a game of hide and seek that we're supposed to play later." Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uncle Percy, they said... I heard. I heard. Let's just go before we get yelled at. I All right, I guess... The only character John wants to talk to is himself. <laughs> 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 the first NPC that that uh, August wants to talk to. Hey. Right. <laughs> just want to make you work for it, Dave. Yeah. I recognize this is my former self. <laughs> I feel a strange connection to you. I don't know why. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna head up the path. Yep. So, are you guys still following him, or, or did he leave the path? Him? No, no, no. He's still walking. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of just meandering. But yeah, I mean, probably not like we're just awkwardly just walking, keep walking behind the him same now. way. <laughs> All right. Um. Everyone give me a spot hidden. Okay. No. Wow. Uh, I am going to use four luck on this. Um, that was an 82 over 78. So we're making a success at 78. I got a 92 over something, something. Uh, my spot hidden is not even close to that, so. I got a 6 over 50. under 85. Wow. 
There you go. Because I was going to give this to you on a hard. Thanks for your luck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, so, but uh, I'll give you something for a success. It's just um, the... David, as you're walking like behind them and everything, it's just like, you notice that like as you guys are kind of go getting up into the higher elevations and stuff that um, I think it was May. Is that when we are? <laughs> it's been so long I forgot. April. Um, We're in April. April. I thought, Late yeah. April, almost <laughs> May. Um, how it, the temperatures are getting a little bit cooler uh, and everything and. Um, like not that it's like freezing you guys are definitely not high enough to have snow on top of the peaks or anything but um you notice that the temperatures are a little bit cooler um more like a like an early spring day uh while it's probably a little bit warmer in Jim Thorpe um with that um August you notice you notice everything I just said uh, that David noticed, but uh, you notice that Percy seems to be like sweating uncontrollably. Like there, it's just like buckets of sweat, just like beating it off, like on his brow. And he's like, he's not out of breath, and he doesn't look winded. I guess that was literally the same thing. But uh, he's um, he doesn't seem to be like straining for steps or anything. But he just seems to be like just sweating like crazy. Okay. I will note that for now. And so will Elizabeth, because I can see her. <laughs> Sorry. You're I fine. need, like, a little desk out here that's, like, separate from my computer. It's okay. I do this, and then everything shakes here, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so... You guys are getting closer and closer, and like more and more people are are coming up, and like it's almost like the way splits for like a little bubble um, for the Percy and Jillian to keep walking through, um, and if you guys keep following them, uh, well, are you or does it seem obvious? Like it, it feels like everyone's like making way for them. Like people yeah. aren't if, focused on them. We'll just say like if if you seem to just be kind of following the way from walking up, like this woman's just like not the old woman, but this woman's just <laughs> hey. Oh, I forgot hey, about her. Stop cutting. All right, wait your turn like everyone else. So Deli's gonna like slow down and like whisper to David, and she she says. Do you think you could follow them? And uh, I guess I, as I walk by, because I kind of thought that this might make sense too anyway, but as I walk by, I'll just kind of whisper a, a quick already on it. And just so then kind of Deli's slip in gonna just a touch closer than we had been, but not yeah, so, Deli's so close gonna as stop. to be too noticeable. Mm. Pa, the hair's talking again. No. <laughs> <laughs> he whispered it to me. I hear it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, give me a skill check. What are you going to do, Knight? Um, is there well, there is stealth. There is stealth. I'm I, already You are in... I'm already camouflaged. This... I have I have it noted as advantage on stealth. Um <clears throat> Was it like, I don't remember how we specified that. Was it going to be like 20% advantage or I on think, it? Uh, I think advantage means you roll and then your tens die, you roll again and you take the higher or the lower. Sorry. Does that make sense? Well, I like that. <laughs> on the, the advantage side of it. <laughs> what was nice. a 69 uh, over 50 is now a 9 under 50. That's go. amazing. Nice. Yeah, and you just slip right through and everyone's just like, I smell syrup. 
or <laughs> whatever David had for breakfast. <laughs> what did he have for breakfast three weeks ago? Uh, what did we have for breakfast? Guinness. Bacon and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can smell the Irish. Get him! No. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, I mean, he is a redhead. <laughs> um, yeah, so you uh, are able just to, to slip right on through. Um, and yeah, so we'll stick with you guys. Well, well, we'll we'll stick with uh, the twins. Um, okay. Yeah, so the woman just kind of points and just like, "Why right, get behind me?" Like she's like, "I'm the end of the line." Oh, I'm so sorry. It's a little bit confusing, and and we just got here a little bit ago. Uh, first timers. Yeah, it's exciting and nerve-wracking and all at the same time. Yeah, I remember my first time. It's exhilarating. Oh, yeah? T uh, tell us about it. How did you get involved? Ah, uh, drugs. No. <laughs> 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 Shrooms, mostly. No. <laughs> um, no, I was just... Uh, they were doing a circuit of uh, revival meetings down south if my voice didn't give it away and uh, I went to one and I don't know just really connected with uh, what uh, Pastor Matthias said and like that all of us are like that we've we've been slowly uh, making our way around uh, just to different areas and uh, he said that the, the great like he said the, the greatest revival is going to be here in Pennsylvania, and I, I'm guessing this is where it is. Um, oh. Yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know. There, we have people that uh, i never seen before. Like, not that I know everybody, but there's there's a lot of people. There were some people from, uh, like, as far as Ohio. Oh, wow. They came Which, here think about today? It, I traveled farther. But anyway, it <laughs> sounded crazy when I first heard it. I mean, that is a far, it's a far way to travel. So how long have you been following Pastor Matthias? Ah, ballet. Uh, he probably does like uh, one of these revival meetings every, like, uh, about once, one, one or two a month. And I've been following him for about uh, maybe, I think about like two months. So I've been doing a couple, but... They, I was told, gotta make it to Jim Thorpe. Oh, so this is the big one. Yeah. I guess it's a good one for us to be jumping in on for the first time. Oh yeah, yeah. It might be a little, might be a little crazy, but eh, it's good. Anything specific we should know? Nah, just you just gotta just listen to your heart and just let let go. You'll know it. You just gotta listen to your heart. And don't vote deep paint out on his other pastor. Uh, <laughs> totally wasn't thinking it. <laughs> Listen to your heart. Vote deep paint. Us. I hate Among Us. <laughs> um, but no, just don't worry. Just uh, a lot of people here used to be thinkers of the mind, and now we're all thinkers of of the soul. Don't worry, it will make sense. I know it sounds like a bunch of mumbo jumbo. I thought the same thing, but hey, it's it's real. Well, I'm always looking, always looking for the new. I just know there's something, something out there, something deeper. So it feels like the right place. Yeah. And like this line, it's not like stand still. It's slowly moving, and um, <clears throat> so. Oh yeah, so so as they're like like standing here, Deli's like, well, what are we what are we waiting in line for? If if it's a revival meeting, shouldn't we all just be there? Uh, that's the thing. The only those who are truly seeking are able to come. 
Oh. Yeah, it's not like one of those mainline religions. Like that, we'll just like, hey, let's go all into like some sort of baseball stadium and just hear talking and then whatever. It's uh, nah, this one, I think that's why it's so alluring. You got to do a little bit of work. You got to get in there. You just can't show up and get a free hot dog. <laughs> well, how do you, what happens if, if you're not a true seeker? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, like you would get this far without really knowing. <laughs> yeah, imagine uh, that. Yeah. Let me tell you something. If you made it here, you're already at least looking. Let's cut to to David. So David, you you're making it through and everything, and the the little bubble of people gets up to this place where it's a whole bunch of tents. Uh, where you can see into it and uh, and through it, like you can't see through it, but it's just like you get in there and um, pretty much like there's like a like a guy who's standing out outside, um, nondescript looking looking dude, and he's just telling everyone, "Oh, make way, make way!" And just uh, is like, "Madam, sir," and uh, lets Percy and uh, Jillian in, uh, and you're able to like with your rolling over your stealth, able to sneak right in. Um, and the like, inside is like completely dark. And uh, it's just before there's just like, you hear a voice. What is the path? Oh, oh, oh J Jillian, I'm Madam Jillian. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry here. Come right through and um, you begin to make like they they open up the doors and are about to let you through, um, and uh, you feel like a a resistance as you're about to walk through the walk through the open gate. And it's like the guards are like, but there seems to, or while well, the voice is like, there seems to be something something holding back. What is wrong? And I want to make a roll for somebody. Well, are you lucky? <laughs> Jillian turns around and like you see like the gleam of green in her eye. And she's like, "Oh, it's okay. I'm playing a game." And uh, he's just like, she uh, grabs like, like doesn't break your enchantment but like kind of just grabs like your hands just like me and my friend are coming and like you are able to pass through like whatever this resistance was we're like um oh, okay then <laughs> that's weird hey Jillian <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting ally-ish I hope we've discovered yeah. and so like <laughs> until she totally outs you <laughs> And then you're trapped in the circus forever. <laughs> it's not a circus. There's no circus here. You guys go through, and there's a big tent of it now. Uh huh. <laughs> um, That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> no, it's uh, you guys go through, and it's like you, uh, David. As you pass through, you see like it's almost like a wall of of these tents. Like they're they're not circus tents, which I know that's what everyone's thinking when I say tents now, but it's like not. I, I was going to check. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's, you don't need to check any. It's like they're. <laughs> I mean, I was going to ask if that, that what kind of tent these were, if they were like. Uh... Yeah, they're like kind of privacy tents that uh, they um, kind of like where people would go to change, but they're like longer, like a, a column. And they're all kind of this like shade of green. But that there's like maybe like five to seven uh, entrances with like fabric walls kind of blocking everything off, um, and um, while you're while you're standing there and it's just uh, you're Jillian's like, are we gonna play hide and seek now? Oh. Yeah, I would love to uh, continue hiding if you don't mind. Are one of them gonna find us? 
Um, are you talking about my friends? Um, yeah. Yeah, they, they yeah. might. Is Dally going to come find us? She said she was going to play. That would make sense. Oh, my goodness. We got to go find a place to hide. I Yeah, I think they're going to try to find us. Um, but uh, right now, I want to make sure that I stay hidden from everybody. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, I need to get away from Uncle Percy again. Okay, you go hide somewhere, and I'm going to go hide somewhere. And Percy, at this point, is just like, all right, let, let's go. Like, come on. <laughs> and it's like, is fine. There, it's like, is there any indication that Percy has any uh, vision of me? No. Or sees anything? Like, okay. uh, if you want to give, uh, let's see, a psychology check to see if you notice any weird behaviors. Well, that's definitely not noticing anything. That's a 94 over 45. Yeah, but everything seems fine. Um, <laughs> or maybe he totally knows you, who you are. Anyway. Um, You'll never know. It's possible. I mean, <laughs> it's not like the red hair is a giveaway or anything. <laughs> yes, because your family's the only one with red hair in this whole world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I expect it to be somewhat distinctive, especially uh, family resemblance, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even if it's been a long time for Percy. Well, actually, it's been a long time for the Winters family. Who knows about Percy? Maybe it's only seemed like a week for him. Who knows? We yeah. gotta remember, Percy doesn't know that Caleb had kids. Mm -hmm. yeah, Percy I was say. never knew that Caleb got married. Well, yeah. sure, but that doesn't mean that there he wouldn't potentially see family resemblance that, and have that be it, something that might come to mind as... To your knowledge, Percy's still looking for the book that weighs a ton and doesn't. That wasn't a book. It was a box. <laughs> I love that you called it a book after we called it a book for an entire season. <laughs> yep. And now you all will die because of it. <laughs> in real life. Didn't you guys sign that contract? If you die in the game, you die in real life. Yeah, Ooh, we did. Harsh. It's an unfortunate one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess that means, you know, if your characters are still alive, you should die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, so, anyway, the, so what are you, what are you going to do, David? What, are you going to go um, explore? Are you going to wait? Are you going to, what are you doing? So, I definitely want to explore a little bit and try to find uh, good potential spots where I can be kind of out of the way of uh, general people moving around and not be, so I, there's no potential to get jostled or something like that give myself away that way but I also want to try and see what is there what else is there in this area that I can potentially see that might be uh, I, I, I'm trying to figure out where the artifact that we're trying to locate and confirm its presence is, might be mm -hmm. does this so... look like a main meeting area or is this like so like everything is still outdoors. The what you see like on the far far end, kind of where Jillian and Percy were walking towards, there's a couple more tents, but they're like way off. It's like a, a collection of tents there, and then it looks like some sort of carts and vehicles that uh, well probably not vehicles, but like carts and stuff that brought things up. Um, kind of in the center area is like this large bonfire that it's not lit but it's a, a large fire uh setting area um with um with the kind of like off to the side of that um pretty much like grill like portable grills and stuff for for food um but then if you look past all that you kind of see the overlook and as you kind of look out to the overlook you can see um Here's the joys of me never actually being a Jim Thorpe and creating my own stupid fantasy thing. Because uh, I'm imagining this one place that I went where there was a wedding and it had this overlook and it was 
pretty much it had like this wooden platform built on it and kind of like a little amphitheater kind of set up. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Jim Thorpe has something like that, but in our imagination, it's some not maybe it's uh, they brought like some sort of like benches or chairs stuff that are kind of set up and where the overlook sits um there's yeah pretty much a um like either like a little platform or stage that uh is just kind of with the town behind him i said him there's nobody there behind okay the, i was just like who's yeah. there yeah <laughs> Why, hello. <laughs> um, hello, I, Theodore. Uh, yeah. I am the eyes of Ophidian. <laughs> I mean, oh, my. That would not be surprising <laughs> at this point. So, but yeah, you see that it's, um, I think, I don't think there's a clearing up in that area, but um, we'll say that there's, like, enough space where it's, like, uh, around where... Like, there's enough movement in between the trees if there was a camp area and all that. Um, but, like, there's... Hold up a second. I had to remember something. Actually, no. It, uh, whether it's true or not, according to Jim Thorpe, it is a big open area. And there is all, pretty much the things I, I described. I forgot about something. Uh, and... Uh, so, yeah, it's just kind of like this open... Kind of like a, a fairground but uh clearing but um but there's still like once uh close to the other trees and like kind of where the borders uh like what it looks like then the trees start coming back in into into view of of everything but so so yeah is there i guess right now it's still pretty light on people being around in the area is that right yeah yeah there's people trickling in but not like crowds of people at this point um i want to go over by work my way over towards the uh the auditor or the kind of the audience area overlooking the the stage uh type of area and see Mm -hmm. what i can find what sort of things are in sight around that area all right so as you go over to the stage you yeah, you pretty much see, like, um, it, it's, it seems like, uh, quieter there when you step there. And it's like, as you look out, you can see the church and the stuff and like the main street and where you're staying in Jim Thorpe. Um, but as you, uh, go and look, you see that there's like this kind of podium, maybe a little bit, like, it's not like a full, like, preacher, um, stand that's there and like really heavy but it's look like a, a simple uh a simple uh kind of just stand to hold like either papers or, or or a book or or something um but as you get up there and you look around you see on the ground is scrawled um in in like kind of rocks the symbol the eyes of Ophidian that I have to look up and find again uh, the the eye with a snake wrapped around it just uh, and in the center of where the eye would be is where this podium is and with that uh, we'll go back to the twins as, as the line is moving. You guys are making a pretty decent uh, time for, for there. It doesn't seem like you guys are standing too long. Um, it does look like you guys are kind of the last of the people to come. There doesn't seem to be like maybe a handful of people come in after you. But uh, yeah, you, you have... Uh, that's pretty much it. Like, um, as you kind of see people coming in, uh, going into the tents and uh, going on. So, uh, um, mm-hmm. August, well, I think I'm going to do a psychoanalysis check. I want to kind of get a feeling for, like, 
do the people feel like are they like brainwashed are they like under a trance do they seem normal like kind of what is their current state mm -hmm. yeah. give me a check I'm going to try and roll under 41 <laughs> um so that was all zeros on both dice that's a hundred isn't it I think that's a hundred yeah I don't know I think all zeros is a hundred. Let's look it up. All zeros on a D100. How to read a D100. Um. Because I guess zero, well zero would be ten, right? On the, on the ten sided die? Yeah. Let's see. If you can't treat us in, um, how you roll hundred? Most people say the zero on the percentile die and the zero on the d10 are are the one hundred. Okay. So double zeros is a hundred. Yeah. Then I failed that one. You, <laughs> I'm not, not just failed. failed. You, you, <laughs> you critically, critically failed. failed. I don't know if you can push a critical fail. Let's see. You were doing a psychoanalysis check. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, how do you, how do you? I was gonna say, how do you? I guess that you just read the completely check. wrong. I guess you just get the <laughs> completely wrong read. Right. But for that, that's one of those things that, from a, a gameplay standpoint, can be kind of weird because you also have to play it that way, and not not meta it that no, it's the opposite. <laughs> right, I know. Like, yeah, it would essentially. I feel like the way you would have to play it is the DM would have to like, like you know, you failed the check. And so maybe, like, it's a 50-50 as to whether you got the info or not. So, like, you get info, but he does like, he doesn't tell you if the critical fail affected it or not. Right? So, like, you have to, like, kind of, like, you have to, like, call into question or doubt. Like, I feel like that would be probably the way to play that. Because otherwise, I mean, otherwise you just have to not metagame it and know that, like, you have the wrong call. Let's see. Um, can I push the roll? Uh, <laughs> As we metagame the metagaming. <laughs> yeah. <I'm right> <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to just find out if if you like that sounds like the best time to push a roll. I'm just making sure there isn't a rule that we over like, that we skipped over. Yeah, I was gonna say because like, what's the worst that happens? No, uh, <laughs> another you, fumble. <laughs> you roll a hundred again. Then it's double fumble. Yeah, I mean that would be bad, but I mean, you might as well try. I mean, what are the chances? It would never happen, yeah. right? <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> I mean, that is the first time I've rolled that in a year and a half, so. I was gonna say, how many? I don't know. I can't find anything quickly, so. What's your call? Do you I'm gonna want say, to push no? no? I'm gonna say, like, if you're gonna roll a hundred, I would say I would allow you to push it if it was anything else but a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so you're you're looking through and you're like you're trying to get a vibe and then like you like make eye contact with somebody and you're just like, What are you looking at? Huh? And like he gets starts getting very aggressive and he starts getting your face like, What do you got a problem, buddy? Uh August is like kinda of flustered, is like no nope, I was I'm just 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 new here, just trying to get my Yeah, bag. it shows. Deli, Wait. Deli jumps in. She's like, "I'm, I'm so sorry. He, this is all just so new and overwhelming. You know, he's, he's not always the best with new situations. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna need a roll. Yeah. Where are my dice? 
I don't know. I mean, You're the okay. one that lost your dice bag at the beginning. Of the <laughs> <laughs> Guys, need, I'm not okay tonight. We need to put tonight. a finder on those as well for you. <laughs> yeah, can you make my dice uh, ding for me? Okay, what am I rolling? Uh, persuade. Charm? charm? Persuade, charm. I like charm. You guys don't roll charm enough. I like charge. Okay, okay, like that's a that's a 30 under 50. He's like, well, you tell your boyfriend to back off, right? I don't roll that way. <laughs> and like, he just turns around, just like, oh. <laughs> and like, it's just way. We like, look just, alike. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're twins. August, August just is like, mutters to you, like, what is his deal? <laughs> what did you say? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like, Deli looks at him and she's like, oh, these guys. These people are a little, High a strong. little bit, yeah, yeah. We have to be careful here. I think. I mean, I guess. As you say that, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, I guess that's a pretty good sign that we're in cult territory. <laughs> Don't say that too loud. Uh, so, Deli, if you want, uh, mm -hmm. you can give me a spot hidden. Okay. Well, I did increase that. Okay. okay, 41 under 50. Okay. So, like, as you kind of look back at this guy and just, like, and he's, like, like, I don't know, talking to, like, another guy or something like that, just, mm -hmm. like, like, can you believe it? Um, You see pretty much way up front, uh, about to enter the tent, uh, the old lady. Mm-hmm. <gasps> walking with her cane, a little bit of a hovel, like now in the light and everything, and you can see her, like, even like, she looks looks like life was hard on her like, uh, it from everything, like, she doesn't look uh, she doesn't look like your, your talkative neighbor that was with you mm -hmm. um, but like, she, you notice, like, she turns around and, like, says something uh, with this um, to a man that's standing there that um also around the same age um definitely uh his hair is is like all white and everything and uh I'm just like kind of but like life does not look as <laughs> like life did not hit him as hard but um you notice that was that uh, what kind of success was that was it just a normal uh, success it's just normal yeah all right, well, you would probably know, like, it seems that, um, there's some, like, uh, like, he goes and, like, scratches the back of his head or something like that, and you notice that, like, he, it looks like he has some burn marks or something on his hand. Okay. Um, before they, like, shortly, um, like, the, the old woman hobbles her way in. And then he wa walks in through another entrance. So they don't go in together. No, they they there was like, like I said the 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 tents like aren't that spread apart, but there's fabric kind of creating a wall so people just can't walk through. Mm hmm. Uh, Deli like elbows August sharply, and uh, she just leans over and she's like. So that, uh, that lady from the train, not so inconsequential now, I would say. And she, like, like heads over at, like, where they were or are. Yeah, August, you look over there. They, they already went in the tent. You didn't, this is Deli being Deli. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. He knows, and he is rolling his eyes. <laughs> You roll your eyes too hard. I told you not to look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> and so you guys keep going forward, and finally it is your turn. And uh, the person that's over is like, okay, one at a time, one at a time. Who's going in first? Uh, I guess Dally will. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. Elizabeth is so scared. Um, so before we had gotten here, like, Dally would have like just whispered the password to him. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. 
All right, she's going. Okay. I don't remember how to say this. And then, yeah, so, like, uh, Della, you go into one, and then pretty much the guy, like, points it over to another tent uh, for, for August. And, like, we'll say, like, before you guys walk in, like, maybe uh, your your buddy that was up there is like, don't worry, it's easy. Remember, speak from the heart. As she walks through. And and right before we, like, separate, like, Deli just reaches real quick and, like, grabs August's hand, and she, like, gives it a squeeze. I and told then, you they were like, dating. No. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, gives it a squeeze and then, like, walks as confidently as she can muster into her tent. And as you both enter, the darkness envelops you. As you both hear, what is the password? I will see you guys next week before you guys can answer. <laughs> Fine, I felt that ending coming, so I wasn't going to jump on it. Yeah, I know if I wait too long, you guys will just start talking. So I'm like, and that's it. <laughs> well, the password is um, it's this Ooh. thing that you feel and. Wrong. <laughs> all, all of a sudden, David is here. Is <laughs> uh, all right. Well. Oh boy. To all my fellow cakers, see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. From all the layer cakes. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>